Hi guys, Rian here, and recently I managed to reach AR57. So I decided to make an account review for today's video to show you guys my progress throughout Genshin Impact. But before I start, I roughly want to tell you guys how much I spend daily for resin refills. Typically, I will spend 2 to 3 resin refreshers, meaning 50 Primo Gems for the first, second one will be 100 Primo Gems, and the third will be 100 Primo Gems. I'll never spend the 150 because I think it's not worth it. I will also be shuffling around my artifacts because not every character have a dedicated artifact set. Some of the artifacts are shared between multiple characters, so you will always see repeats of my artifacts and weapons. So let's start with the main DPS. Currently, my two favorite main DPS is Yula and Xiao. As for Yula, I really like her character design and I like her with the Wings of Concealing Snow. It matches her really well. For the weapons, I'm using the Wolf's Gravestone, but sometimes I also switch to the Skyward Pride. As for her artifacts, I'm using the Bloodstained Pale Flame set. These are the stats. And Constellation 0, Talents 879. I plan to 999 them. And the crit rate is around 59%, crit damage 200 with 108 physical bonus. But if I want big damage numbers, sometimes I will switch to my 4 piece Pale Flame set. And I only have 45% crit rate with 217% uh, crit damage. So, but by default, I prefer the Bloodstained Pale Flame set more. Next will be Xiao. Xiao by default is using the Primordial Jade Wing Spear. And he's using a Gladiator's Viridescent set. These are the stats. His stats are actually really balanced. With Constellation 0 and 989. I plan to upgrade this soon to get 999. 80% crit rate, 188% crit damage. But there are times when Hu Tao needs to use the Primordial Jade Spear, so I will switch him to Black Cliff Pole. And his artifacts will be using the Conductor set with, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, this. So this will be his set. It's still Viridescent with Gladiators. And this will be his set. It's still very balanced 78% crit rate, 200 crit damage but his base attack is lower. Next will be Hu Tao. Hu Tao is using the Primordial Jade Spear, but sometimes I switch to the Deathmatch. Her artifacts are using the Crimson Witch set. These are the stats. And her constellation is C0, with talents 898. I plan to 999 her soon also. She has 60% crit rate with 212% crit damage. But there are times when I use the death match, and her stats will be 75% crit rate, 212% crit damage, but with lower base attack. Next, I have my favorite waifu, Kaching. She's using Aquila Favonia with the same set as Yula Bloodstained Chivalry and Pale Flame. These are stats Constellation 3 with talents 9, 6, 11. I did not upgrade her E because I don't think it does much damage. Mostly it's from her normal attacks and her burst. And because I play her mostly as physical DPS, the stats are also same as Yula. But if I were to use her as an electro DPS, she'll be using the Black Sword with Thundering Fury Gladiator set. Her stats is 56% crit rate with 240 crit damage. But when she uses her burst, her crit rate will go up to 70% crit rate, so it's quite balanced also. Next is Ganyu. Ganyu also has two builds. Her main DPS build is using the Eomos Bow with Wanderer's Troop set. I'm using the crit rate circlet because Wanderer's Troop set with crit damage and Eomos Bow is just stupid. Your crit rate is going to be so low that you aren't even going to crit anything. Her constellation is constellation 0 
with Talon 867. I didn't really upgrade her that much because I don't really enjoy playing a charge attack character to be honest. She's not really my favourite character. But most of the time I'm playing her as a support. So for that build, I'm using the Skyward Harp with Blizzard Noblesse. These are the stats. Her crit damage is quite insane here. So, 56% crit rate with 250 crit damage. Next we have Chao. To be honest, I've been neglecting Chao because Spiral Abyss isn't good for Hydro characters now. He's using the Skyward Hub with the 4 piece Hard Adapt set. These are the stats. He's at Constellation 0 with Talents 888. Crit rate 66% with 200 crit damage. Next we have Yanfei. Yanfei is using the Lost Prayer with the Wanderer's Troop set. This go Goblet is really nice for her. I think it's the perfect item for her and it's the reason why I'm not using the Crimson Witch set. Pyro bonus damage on Wanderer's Troop with crit rate, attack and crit damage. She's at Constellation 0 with Talon 767. I can upgrade her but I kind of don't play her as much as other characters. She has 82% crit rate, 166 crit damage. Next we have Klee. Klee is using the Lost Prayer by default also, but sometimes I do use the Solar Pearl. She is using the Lava Walker set the most because I think I don't really like her when she's doing elemental reactions. It's really hard to trigger elemental reactions. These are stats. Constellation 0. Talents 888. 84% crit rate, 140% crit damage. Next we have Ningguang. Ningguang is my favorite catalyst user. She's using the Lost Prayer also. And the Archaic with Gladiator set. These are the stats. She's at Constellation 6 with Talents 8, 11, 11. 78% crit rate, 177% crit damage. Next, we move on to my sub DPS. My favorite sub DPS is Seng Chiu. He's using the Sacrificial Sword with a Noblesse Hard Adapt set. These are the stats. Constellation 6 with Talon 11 and 12. I plan to crown him really soon. He's at 41% crit rate with 180% crit damage. Next, we have everyone's favorite, Burnett. He's using the Festering Desire. But there are times when I use Aquila Favonia just to boost my base attack. He's using the 4-piece Noblesse set. His stats are mainly just HP percent. I don't really see his crit damage and crit rate. He's at Constellation 5 because I don't want to forfeit any physical DPS team. And he's the only person that I have crowned so far. Level 13. His stats are not that important. Next is Zhongli. Zhongli is using the Skyward Spine with Melee Leaf set. I prefer Melee Leaf set over Archaic Noblesse because I want thicker, a thicker shield over more damage. He's more of a support than DPS. Constellation 0 with Talents 9-9. And this is his overall stats. Next up is Rosaria. She's using the Deathmatch with Noblesse Blizzard set. These are the sets. She's at Constellation 3, Talon 696. But surprisingly, I use her quite a lot. 75% crit rate, 188 crit damage. Next, we have Albedo. Albedo is using the Harbinger of Dawn with Defender and Archaic set. I didn't upgrade him to Noblesse because I didn't see the need to. He's at Constellation 1. Funny story, I actually didn't aim for Constellation 1. I was only aiming for Constellation 0 when I pulled him, 
but within a single tempo I got two albedos so he's the only banner character that I have constellation one he's at talent level eight and six these are his stats next we have venti venti is using the stringless with viridescent set these are the stats to be honest, I could easily switch his artifacts with Xiao, but more often than not, I'm using Venti with Xiao, so they cannot really share the artifacts. So Venti's artifacts are actually just leftovers. Because he's a support, I don't really bother about his stats. Yeah, his stats are quite bad. Next is Fischl. Fischl is using the Viridescent Hunt by default because most of the time, my one of my main DPS is using the Skyward Hub. She's running Gladiators with Thunder Fury. These are the stats. And she's at Constellation 6 with Talents 11 11. These are the final stats. Next, we have Joe Traveler. Joe Traveler is using the Harbinger of Dawn with Noblesse Archaic Set. So, these are the artifacts. Her artifacts are pretty similar to Ningguang. I'm actually using a similar set. She's at Constellation 6 as usual, with Talents 8 and 8. These are the stats. She's mainly a sub DPS. As for Animal Traveler, I'm also using the Harbinger of Dawn most of the time. He's using the Viridescent Gladiator set. Constellation 6, Talon 7 and 6. To be honest, I haven't really been playing any more Traveler as much. And this is the crit rate and crit damage. Next, we have Chong Yun. To be honest, Chong Yun is just for Noblesse support. He's not really the DPS in the team. So he's running the 4 piece Noblesse set. These are his artifacts. and his talents are level 11 yeah his stats are not good but I'm mainly using him for support not DPS next we have Sucrose Sucrose has a whole set of dedicated gears just for her she's using the sacrificial fragments with viridescent set and everything about this is all about elemental mastery see elemental mastery elemental mastery elemental mastery Constellation 6, Talons 88, and she's almost 900 Elemental Mastery. Then we have Xiang Ling. Xiang Ling is using the Deathmatch with Crimson Witch set. She's using an Energy Recharge Timepiece because I want to get her burst back faster. Constellation 6, Talon Pyronado 11. And these are stats. Next, we have Chi Chi. Chi Chi is using the Lion's Roar because of the attack percent stat. She's also using the Melee Leaf set, exactly same as Zhongli. So these are actually Zhongli's artifacts. But the Goblet, I'm using an attack percent Goblet. That's all. Constellation one, with the, her talents aren't really upgraded. Also, next we have Barbara. Barbara is using Trilling Tales of Dragon with Noblesse. Her artifacts will always be rotate between her or Diona. So it's like sort of shared. Talent 7 and 6. I didn't really upgrade because I think it's more than enough. So that's about it for all my characters. I still have Noel, Diona, Lisa, and Sinyan, but I haven't really built them properly. As for Kea, Amber, Mona, Bedo, Razor, and Dilok. I haven't even touched them, so probably in the future. But the only character that I will not ever play will be Dilok. I think I made a bet with someone that I will never ever touch Dilok. Even with Constellation 1, I'm not going to play him, so yeah. He's the only character I have no interest in playing. But everyone else, I plan to build them someday in the future. So yeah, that's about my account. Oh yeah, 
You might be thinking, after spending so much, I probably have all the characters, right? But till today, I still don't have Jean. Jean is the only character I'm still missing and I really hope I get to pull her even if I lose the 50-50 one of these days. So yeah, that's about my account. Let me know what you guys think. As usual, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content.